Hey guys, welcome back to the Kanaya Jones channel and today I want to talk to you guys about condemnation and how condemnation is not of God. God is not condemning us, he is convicting us. And I want to share, I want to be transparent with you guys and share like different times in my life where I have felt a spirit of condemnation, but since I understand that God does not condemn me and the truth was I was only convicted and so when I made the decision to give my life to Christ back in 2020 yeah back in 2020 like I I was so like sold out to God and like I stopped uh, I like got rid of a relationship that I was in I stopped masturbating I stopped watching pornography um because i was heavily addicted um i like you know stop cursing just basically changing my life you know trying to live right for god and i believe it was like either a year or very close to a year where things weren't so easy to just live live my life solely sold out to God and I started slowly letting like baggage of my past come back so I would start back listening to like secular music and I would start back entertaining an ex that I had once let go in that season of my life and so um I remember I fell back into masturbation it wasn't pornography but it was masturbation I fell back into masturbation and I just felt so condemned every time and I'm like, now I know it wasn't condemnation. It was God convicted me so that I won't continue to do it. And I'm here to let you know, like, on this walk with God, you will not be perfect. This is not a, a perfection thing. Like, God know that we are human. Sin is human. But that does not mean that we have to wallow in sin. So when you fall short of the glory of God or, you know, you fall off of your path, God will convict you so you can go right back to him. But God will never condemn you. God will never leave your side. God will never leave you nor forsake you. And that's something that I have to remind myself because even to this day, like, Sin be like so heavy. Like I be having sexual dreams. Me personally not even having sex. But in my dreams, I will have sexual dreams. And I learned that that is a demonic spirit that is trying to, you know, trying to basically get me back into my past life. And then even since then, I have fallen back into um masturbation and even pornography mind you haven't watched porn in forever but i had watched i was watching a youtube video and it's crazy because sin happens in small portals nothing ever happens just for no reason like little small doors open up portals to sin and most times i found myself sinning when I needed when I felt like I needed comfort and comfort only comes from God so instead of me finding comfort and masturbation or or pornography or being on TikTok all day or whatever I should have went to my Bible and found comfort there but anyway so I was watching like YouTube videos and people doing like truth or drinks and stuff like that and not knowing that that was open up a portal of curiosity and i was watching a truth to drink and somebody was talking about a sex tape and me being curious because i'm human and because i have fleshly desires i wanted to look up the sex tape and guess what i looked up the sex tape and i'm just being transparent because there is freedom and transparency and i know that i cannot come up here and, and talk to y'all about something that God not even you know, like a part of or without me being transparent with my own journey and my own struggles with this. I'm human. I'm imperfect. And I'm trying to get this thing right. Like every single day, it's a daily task because 
we're human. But, um, so yeah, I looked up the sex tape, watched the sex tape. And at first I was like, okay, now nah, I ain't gonna do nothing, you know, with this arousal or with this desire. But, you know, you got the good side, the bad side. And I was like, you know what, might as well. You already watched the, the sex tape, so you might as well go all the way. You might as well masturbate to it. You might as well do this, you might as well do that. And that is the trick of the enemy. And that's why you have to watch the portals because guess what? Now that I had watched the sex tape, and then I had masturbated. Now I'm like, okay, now I'm feeling bad. I'm feeling condemned, even though God does not condemn me. Now I'm feeling condemned. So now I'm wallowing in sin. Now I'm like, oh, well, I feel bad. So now I want to go back to what will comfort me, but it will never fully comfort me because it's not the true source of comfort, you know? So the enemy had me thinking like oh you know you already feeling condemned you might as well do it again you might as well do it the next night you know you're feeling bad this is what's going to comfort you it's an illusion of, of comfort but it's not really comfort if that makes sense like and so god like really convicted my spirit so strong what i thought was like condemnation was just god conviction because god don't want us to continue to wallow in sin so he will convict our spirit so that we return back to him so whenever you do something that's not like pleasing to god or you know or if you start feeling condemned remind yourself like hey god is not condemning me god loves me he know i will fall he know i will fall short of his word but this conviction is necessary so that i don't go and do the same sin over and over again so that i know that i am free through jesus christ i am delivered from the spirit the demonic spirit of pornography and the dem demonic spirit of masturbation i am delivered from that so now i can walk in my authority and not return to those same sins and not return and repeat the cycles that god has already released over my life and so another thing it's like watching those portals, right? Watching those triggers. I can't watch certain YouTube videos. I can't watch certain movies. I cannot listen to certain songs because God has called me to a certain place and the enemy uses those things, those movies, those YouTube videos, those TikToks to try to distract me and get me off a of purpose and to get me back in a cycle of sin. So now that I have identified it and I'm, th and I'm thankful that I went through those trials of my life and those times where I have fallen short because now I'm able to identify the portals that the enemy uses to try to condemn me or try to, um, you know, keep me in this cycle. So I want you guys to really think about and help and ask God, like, hey, God, help me identify the, the, the areas where I'm falling short and the portals that the enemy is using to keep me in sin and cycles of sin because everybody have something. And that's why I'm, I'm, I'm willing to be on this platform and tell y'all my mess ups because everybody mess up. In the Bible, it would say everybody will fall short of the glory of God. That's that's not exempt from nobody. No matter how many times you go to church, no matter how many times you you um, read your Bible and things like that. You, I am a leader of a youth group now, okay. And that's another two another reason why I have to. I, I'm I'm taking this walk with God so serious because it's not just about me. It's not just about me and I'm hoping that my truth and my 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 you know my um, transparency will help you uncuff from things that are not of God right and so and that's another thing to make sure you guys have accountability I have an accountability partner in Christ um, which is actually a friend of mine and you know I have to when I fall short um, I have somebody who I get to tell, not only just God, but somebody on this earth who can also pray for me and I can pray for her and things like that. And also not staying where I feel at. That's one of the another big issues with, condom, with feeling condemned or with the spirit of condemnation is 
we feel like now we stuck. You feel like just because you messed up, now you stuck. You feel like just because you sinned or, you know, you did something that you weren't supposed to do, now you feel stuck. And God's like, girl, I didn't say that. And y'all, I have my notebook right here and it says sin is a wrong response to a real need. And that's kind of what I was saying earlier. Like we have real needs of, you know, um, maybe wanting comfort or feeling lonely. Those are real needs, like wanting companion or wanting this, that, and a third. But sin is a wrong response to it. So when you're feeling down and you're like, dang, I already feel down, so I might as well go watch porn and masturbate and get this release. It's like, no. Or you're like, oh, I might as well call up this person. Or I might as well do this. I might as well do that. I might as well get back in that toxic relationship. Or I might as well. It's like, no, that's a wrong response to your real need. And instead of going to the wrong response, which is sin, go to God. Like, hey, God, honestly, right now I'm feeling down. I'm feeling sad. I'm feeling like I want to do this thing. But God, I know it's not right. God, help me change the desires of my heart, God. And... Y'all, these notes are so good. Another thing, y'all, I used to try to, like, literally perform, like, a streak. Like I told y'all, I went, like, a whole year because I had just given my life to Christ. And I, like, changed my life. Like, you know, just giving up my fleshly desires for God. And I was like, oh, cool. Like, it's been a month. It's been two months. It's been a year. And it's like, I cannot perform for God's love. God loved me anyway. Rather, I fell short of the glory of God and got back up and tried again. God loved me. Any I cannot perform for God's love. And that's the thing with religion. Like, you know, we feel like, oh, we have to perform. We have to do this to get God's love. God loved you before you were formed in your mother's womb. Like, God loved you anyway. It's not about performing for God's love. It's about choosing to live right according to God's will. And although you might fall short of the glory of God along the way, it's about getting up and knowing that God still loves you and that you do not have to wallow in sin because God has already died for your sin. Like, you don't have to stay in the cycle of sin because God has already delivered you from that. So it's not about, oh, well, I might as well sin anyway. God going to forgive me, God. I don't have no um, condemnation. No, that's not the right way to look at it. The right way to look at it is okay. God is not condemning me. So I don't have to continue to do it. I don't have to continue to stay in this. God is not mad at me for falling short. So guess what? Let me get up and let me sin no more. Let me sin no more. Let me renew my mind. Let me go back to my Bible. Let me set new boundaries and set new standards so that I don't continue to fall short of the glory of God. Y'all, we all going to fall. I might fall again, but guess what? I'm going to get back up and I'm going to say, you know what? I, first of all, I, I denounce and I rebuke the spirit of the cycle of sin, falling in the same cycles. I, I, I pray to God I never fall in that cycle ever again in my life. But I'm saying there might be something else, another hurdle. You know, I might tell a, a small lot, like you just, I don't know. But one thing I pray against is falling in the same cycle. Don't fall in the cycle of sin. The last thing I want to touch on is you are not your mistakes. You, you are not your mistakes. You are not what you did, you know. You are, like, that's not your identity. Your identity is not that what you've fallen short of. You know, that that's not your identity. So, yes, you guys. Hopefully this video helped you guys. You know, hopefully my transparency was able to help you. We all trying to do this walk with God. It is, it's not easy, but it's the best walk we could ever be on because I'd rather walk with God and, and, and stumble and get back up and, and, and continue to move forward and sin no more and God have his hands on my life than to do this life without God and just be wallowing in sin and just be in just so much turmoil because I'm going against God, like walk with God, y'all. 
But yes, you guys, um, if you would like to join the youth mentorship group where I'm just being open with you guys and, you know, helping you guys if y'all need advice, if y'all just need some accountability, the link is in the description. It's 100% free to join. Um, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in my next one.